Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Boxy Charm time. I love Boxy Charm. I swear, I am always so excited for this box. I think it is an amazing deal every single time. And let me tell you, the value in this box is amazing. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. If you can't tell, I have no makeup on so we're going to be using all of these goodies today and I'm so excited. So if you want to see what I got in this boxy charm and how they work out then just keep watching. So first let's open her up. So this is what it looks like when you get it. This is the boxy bash. So I think this is like their birthday edition or something like that and this box actually has six items in it which is really cool you typically get a solid five and they're all full size which i think is amazing the first thing i'm going to pull out and use is this cover fx blurring primer so excited i do really really like cover fx products and they typically do have a lot of them in the boxy charm boxes so i'm never going to complain about that i think it's amazing i found one of my favorite setting sprays from cover fx through boxy charm the illuminating one i love it so much so I'm going to go ahead and jump in and put some of this on. So it's got like a little tint of color to it. I want to say I've never used this one. I think I've used, I can't remember which primer. I know I've used one of their primers, but I'm not sure which. So I can already see a really good blurring effect to my pores. I'm actually really impressed with that. This primer goes for $38. I paid $21 for this box and this is a $38 primer. I mean... To get this for $21 would be great. So everything else is just gravy. At this point, I'm going to quickly put on some foundation. I'm mixing two Fenty shades. I have 110 and 170. These are both more cool undertones, so I always mix these two together. I don't have a perfect shade. I know she has a great shade range, but there's really not one that truly matches my skin. But I don't mind mixing these two. And this is that foundation that I wear when I'm just like, I don't want to have to worry if my foundation is going to look good all day, if it's going to run on me, if it's going to look cakey thick whatever I never have to worry about this one and I always just put that on my little palette here and I'm gonna mix it up with a wet and wild brush just mix it real quick and then wipe the little excess off and voila I have my shade so I use a little bit more of 170 than 110 I'm gonna take this Morphe sponge this has been my go-to sponge lately I love the flat side of it it also has a little pointed side so you can get in delicate areas delicate sure um, and honestly this is my favorite way to apply this foundation. The brush also works well. I know a lot of people love that. Personally, I just like this. Um, you get really good coverage. The blender will kind of shear it out just a little bit, but I feel like I still get really, really good coverage. I'm using about two pumps of foundation. I could probably save a little foundation by using a brush, but honestly, I will, I will sacrifice a little bit for the way that it gives me that like airbrush finish. And look how quick that blends in, seriously. The next thing in this box is a brush and this is by the brand Aesthetica. I've never used any of their products before um, but this one is the P12 face brush. It says synthetic fibers allow maximum control. Face brush is perfect for creating a seamless look. Doesn't really tell you what it's for. It's to me almost like this is a powder brush. I mean it's some type of powder brush. The bristles are pretty long and they're not very dense so as you can see there's a lot of room in it. It also says this goes for $27. Um, I hope this is a really good brush personally because $27 I expect a pretty good brush out of it. Um, so I probably wouldn't pay that much but it is. It feels nice. Looks nice. So we're going to try it out. So I set my under eye anywhere I had concealer with my sponge. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of our CMA powder and lightly set the rest of my face. The great thing about the Fenty foundation too, I don't feel the need to really cake on a lot of powder. It's got that like soft matte type of finish is what it feels like to me. And so a little bit of powder is all I need. So we're all set. I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. All right, my brows are sloppily thrown on because... Let's face it, it's not my focus today. I also got in my box the Pure Sculptor palette. I like how it's got like this little texture. That's really cute. Um, let's open it up. Now, the mirror is really cute. It says you are the sculptor of your own destiny up here at top. I don't want to blind you guys, but that's what it says. It's really cute. And then the palette looks like this. 
these look really dark as you can see i swatched that one i took it out just before showing it and i was like i don't know if i can use this and i still don't know <laughs> we're gonna try just a little bit of this shade and try to contour my chickens usually i use a more dense brush to do my contour but i don't think that that's gonna work with the shade so i'm gonna take this little sonia kashuk brush which is a little less dense and yeah we're gonna see <laughs> I haven't bronzed yet because I do want to be able to like blend this out easily. So I'm going to uh, really kicked up a lot. Like I barely dipped my brush in. I just went like tap and mm, I don't think this is going to be good for me. I literally have next to nothing on this brush. So I'm just going to go. Okay. I can live with that. Mm, mm -mm. I don't like this. Look, I mean, look, I barely tapped in. Just kind of looks like dirt on my face, to be honest. Okay, I'm just going to do that on both sides, and then we're going to blend it out and do something else. This is not going to work for me. It also isn't blending well. Like, it's not just the color, but it is not blending out well. So I'm going to do that little like severe contour right there and then we're going to move on to something else. I'm going to go ahead and put this right in my hairline because as you can see my hair is fine so you can see a lot of my scalp and I got that big old forehead. So I'm going to put it right at top like almost blending into my hairline. This might be good for that actually like where my hair is so fine that you can see my scalp a little. I might be able to use it for that purpose. I'm probably going to take a little softer contour shade and really contour my forehead, but that's not bad. Let's go ahead and try this highlighter. There's two. There is Originator and Trailblazer, so I'll swatch them. Pretty. Okay, the highlighter is pretty. I think the Trailblazer is probably going to be a little dark for me. Yeah. So we're going to try that originator. I do think that that would be a really pretty highlighter shade on like medium deep skin tones. I think that would be good in that range. Woo! Really smooth consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and go crazy with this highlight and then we're going to grab something to blend the rest of this out. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into this Ivy Y Beauty Contour and use this first shade, which is obviously a good bit softer. It feels a little crazy for a minute. Bear with me. I have a plan. That Pure Palette was $30 retail value, so not bad. I love the highlight in it. Now I'm taking this Real Techniques Kabuki and I'm going to go into the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder. Mine's in 05 Light and I'm going to soften this up because I don't really want to look that severe today. All in all, that looks really pretty though. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to throw on a little bit of blush. I'm using this Smashbox like Photo Strip Palette and a crown brush. I think I got this Moda brush and a BoxyCharm as well. I'm gonna lightly contour my nose. I'm gonna use a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyes. I'm gonna do a pretty simple eyeshadow look. I'm not looking to go crazy today. I just like the soft glowy look. So I'm gonna first prime my lids. I'm going to use the BH Festival palette, and I'm basically just taking this orange. That's really what I wanted to do, and I'm going to, like, blow out the crease and do almost like I'm doing a transition shade, but I'm going to blend it into the crease as well. I mean, look how easy that freaking was. Oh, my goodness. I'm not doing anything complicated today. It may look a little bit bright. Now I'm going to take this shade Magical right here on my finger. There's a method to my madness, I swear. I'm almost like just putting it right over where I put that orange, and that is on purpose. I'm just kind of sloppily throwing it on, and I'm going to basically tap off any excess off that brush and then blend again. That kind of brought the color back. 
I'm gonna take this slightly lighter golden shade called Trixie and I'm gonna go on my brow bone. I'm gonna pop my inner corner a little bit. I'm looking for just glowy, so I want the glow everywhere. Back to the box. So we actually still have three things in here. Can you believe that? This is also by Aesthetica, and this is their three-piece eye trio. This goes for $45 for three little brushes. I probably wouldn't pay that, to be honest. Um, so it comes with an angled liner brush, a brow spoolie, and fine-tipped eyeliner brush. Used for a wide variety of looks from a subtle wing to a dramatic cat eye. Use the brow brush for fuller, more defined eyebrows. We also got from Pretty Vulgar, which I've used some of their things and I do like it. This is the Ink Gel Eyeliner. Look at this packaging. It's like a little ink well for a quill, so cute. And it goes for $24. It says it's highly pigmented, provides quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. Hmm. Creamy and water resistant formula allows for smooth application that stays in place all day. We shall see. I'm going to basically go in with the liner brush. I think I'm gonna use the little brush for this. Let's see how fine. I wanna see how small this is, but wow. This looks pretty good. This is the liner brush. It's a fine, fine tip, which I think is what I want with this one because as you can see, my eye is bright and I don't want to do anything overly dramatic with my wing. Look at that highlight though. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm just going to dive in and see what happens. I dipped in so, so lightly that first time. So I'm gonna go in a little bit more. It is really creamy. Okay, so I got a pretty good like baseline here. So now it's time to draw out that wing. Not bad. I do wanna smooth the line out just a little bit, but that was really easy. There's my little wing. I'm going to complete the other side and pop on some mascara and I'll be right back. All right, liner is done. I went a little ham on this side, so I kind of built that side up as well. But that gives you a gist of what that liner looks like. I kind of like it. Um, it's super black. It's creamy. So if you have trouble with like liners being a little bit dry, that will work. I don't know if it will replace a like pen type liner for me because I'm so addicted, but I think it looks really cute. I am mad at it. And it's a really good size. As for the other two brushes in the trio, because I didn't show them to you guys. So it's basically just a spoolie brush. $45 trio I don't think so and then this brush looks pretty nice though the little angled it says angled liner but I could use that for brows as well maybe it's a little thick um, but you could definitely do like a thicker liner or even like use this to do an under eye line as well definitely wouldn't pay $45 for this trio but I'm not mad at it in the box we've got one more thing in the box this is the Han skincare cosmetics all natural lip gloss it says it has antioxidants and vitamins hmm Let's see, this is in the shade Raspberry Chardonnay. So that's what it looks like. It goes for $15, so that's not too bad, it's reasonable. So it looks like uh, 68, 88, 92, 97, plus 40, 137, 157, 164, 174, 179. $179 value in this box. Wow. So yes, the brushes are priced a little bit high in my opinion, but even like $150, crazy because I paid 21 so let's put this lip gloss on I have no idea what this is gonna look like Ooh, mmm it smells like cake batter like just like the plain old yellow cake that's what it smells like it feels really really nice on the lips the pigmentation is crazy I mean look at that it smells oh my god it sm literally smells like cake batter like when my mom used to make a cake and I would lick the bowl I mean the spoon. All right, so that is my boxy charm for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything. I am thoroughly impressed. I wish that the contour colors in here were a little bit better. There's a lot of kickback from it when I was literally just like tapping in, but it didn't turn out bad. It's just a little bit dark for me personally. The highlighter is beautiful, and this is really not like, it's not perfect for super deep skin. It's definitely not perfect for fair skin. It's more like medium kind of skin tones it would look cute on, and then this one maybe for darker skin, 
but I really love the highlighter. I love the primer. The primer and the lip gloss and the liner are all really, really good in my opinion. And even if you just bought those three, I mean way, way more than the value of the box. So I am crazy happy. Always am. And I can't wait for it next month. I will link BoxyCharm down below in case you want to check it out. I do think that it's an amazing, amazing box every single month. I'm never disappointed. Some months are better than others, but it never disappoints. So that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching and sticking around. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoy the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!